In the previous videos, we used dot products to figure out if the ship was in the bad zone out here, out here, out here, or out here. But we didn't do anything to correct it. We need to get the ship to bounce back in to our good zone. This is the good zone in here. And there's a few uh, vector uh, pieces of math we need to know before we do that. One is how to calculate the magnitude. If the ship came into the wall at a at a perpendicular angle and say it was going that fast I would expect the ship to rebound like so but say the ship was going slower it came in kind of as a slower rate then we would expect it to bounce off at the same rate but but not as long as it, if it was going fast so we need to know how to get the length of these vectors or as I called it the magnitude in the previous videos the magnitude of the vectors well Khan Academy has some great videos on this. I'm going to cover the basics here, though. If you, if you want, oh, that ship's going to take up most of the screen. Let's let's excuse the ship, and I'm just using black because I think black is cool. Remember, a vector is made up of two components, or at least in our case, we're using two dimensional vectors for our two-dimensional screen. We were using the third dimension uh, to do some translation. Which is, which is good, but really we're still in the 2D world, and everything that I teach you in 2D works in 3D, so don't stress that. I think it's just easier to learn it in 2D. And a two-dimensional vector is made up uh, of a X component, if you would, and a Y component. Right, remember, we had our basis vectors. Let me, let me try that again. Say this is our basis vectors, and I gave you the vector 2, 3. Well, that just... That means it's a linear combination, two of these guys plus three of these guys. So one, two of those guys, and then three of these guys. Well, one, two, three of those guys. Move this vector over here so we can add the two vectors together. I just moved it over there. I'm totally legal. I can do that. And then this vector plus that vector gives us a result like so there is our resulting vector well if I get I mean I'm just gonna erase these basis vectors for now and I'm I wanna look, look at this what, what what shape do you see if this was if this was some kids show and they said what shape is this kids well what shape is that it's a triangle go figure and, and I'm hoping at this point you've done a little bit of geometry with triangles. If you've had trigonometry, this will go really well. If you haven't, then um, brush up on some of the cosine and sine and those th kind of things. But but there's this theorem that hopefully you're familiar with. It's called the Pythagorean Theorem, which when you hear the word Pythagorean and you hear the word theorem, it sounds really mathematical and scary. And again, it's not. Just trust me, uh, and refer to Khan Academy if you actually want this proven. But I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna roll with it. If this is side A, right? Looking at this as a triangle now, this is side B, and this is side C. Then it just so turns out that if I take C and I square it, and why did I choose C? Well, here's my 90 degree angle. So this is my hypotenuse of the of the triangle. I'm looking for that 90 degree angle. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Alright, and I want to know the length of C. I don't know. I don't want to know the length of C squared. I want to know the length of C. Well, how do I get C from C squared? Oh, I got, let's, let's, let's take the square root. So I'll take the square root of this side, and if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. Take the square root of both sides. And the square root of c squared is just c. And the square root of a squared plus b squared is <laughs> the square root of a squared plus b squared. <laughs> Nothing magical there. So if I want to know the length of c, I just have to take the length of a squared, length of b squared, add the two, take the square root of that, and that will give me the length of c. And it turns out this is the vector I want to know the length of or the magnitude of. Okay, when I say length, think magnitude. I want to know the magnitude of this vector. So all I have to do is take its two components, in this case 2 and 3, and take the square root, and that'll give me the length of it. So let's let's do that. We have we have 2 here. 2 squared is, sorry, 2 squared is not 2. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. That's going to equal 
13, and if I want to know the length of C, then it's going to be the square root of 13. Let's get a, I'm actually going to get a calculator and actually look at that. Bring this onto the scene, and 13 square root is 3.6. Oh, that's an ugly number, but the length of this side is 3.6. Da -da 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 -da. So you get the idea. That's which which kind of makes sense. If I go out two this direction, three this direction, it's it's not going to be five. The length is not going to be five, but it's at least going to be three. We had to go three in this direction, then we had to add some more, add some more length to it for this guy. So it's three point six. Da -da -da -da. Let's do a let's do a simpler, uh, a simpler example. Well, not a simpler example. An example with simpler numbers. How about that? Well. Excuse me while I erase all this off and, and da, 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 see if I can get it all. There we go. Let's let's say we have the vector. This is such a typical example too. The vector three, four. I think even Khan uses this one in his stuff. So three, four. That would mean one, two, three. I should have drawn the basis vectors in there. Let's do it. One. There's our basis vector. So. One, two, looks like three needs to be just a little bit, ah, a little bit longer. Here's three, three, and then four is going to be one, two, three, that's probably too far. Four, we'll say that's four. Bear with me, okay? Three, four, and then that makes up our vector here. If I can draw it, well... Well, what's the length of this? What's the length of this? Well, it's the same thing we did before, isn't it? We take the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is going to be, let's see, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25. What's the square root of 25? Oh, beautiful. It's almost like I planned this, huh? <laughs> 3, 4, Five. You get used to the three, four, five triangles. The length of this side is five. So there you go. That's that's how we get the magnitude of a vector. We just take its two components, we square them, take the square root, and that gives us the length of this vector. It doesn't give us a new vector. Okay, we already had the vector. That was our input vector. It just gives us the length. It's a single number or scalar. We call it scalar. Single number. It just gives us the length, and we need that length to bounce the ship off the wall. And you'll see why as we progress through these next few videos.